What's going on everyone? Your boy Kevin back again. Today I have another Budget King smartphone that we're going to review. If you guys remember, I did the review on Infinix Note 12. And that phone was really good, nice uh, performance, just had, didn't have a good camera. This one is the same phone, Infinix Note 12, but this is the Pro version. And uh, this one, better chipset, and uh, it's got uh, and he has a 108 MP camera, a little bit more high performance than the other one. And the world first chipset on this phone is the Helio um, uh, G99. This phone, I uh, did a download test on it with a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, same game, and I was so shocked because they both performed the same. I was like, whoa, this is crazy. So anyways, what we're going to be doing today, we're going to be doing the unboxing of this. We're going to do camera test, gaming test, performance test, and we're going to do a geek bench on it too so we can see the scores on it. But before we do that, please guys, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Make sure you press the bell and uh, press the like button. That really helps me out. So let's unbox this, see how this thing works. We get a case. Silicone, but it's actually really nicely made. It's not the cheap silicone cases some of the phones come with. You get a dollar bill. Manual book. Another set of manual book. SIM key. Headphones. Very cheap. I wouldn't even use them. A cable charger. Looks pretty good. I like the camera setup on it. So you got the little circle around with uh, three cameras in there. You got your main camera, 100 MP. And I like that little mirror looking thing around it. Makes it look like more futuristic. Look at that. And you got your flash right there. And we're gonna go to the side here. If you can pay close attention, the camera has got a really big bump. So if you have it on a flat surface, you might get a lot of wobbling. And we're gonna go to the bottom, you got a headphone jack, you got your mic, you got your speaker. On the side here, you got your fingerprint scanner and your on and off as well too. And you got your volume rockers right there. Nothing on top and you got a 6.7 uh, AMOLED display. And the phone is very thin. Look at that. That's what I really like about it because it's very thin and it feels good when you're holding it. And what else good about this phone? It's how wide it is. It's not thinner, for like those thinner phones. This one is wider, like this way. And it comes with on display as well too, and you got your SIM tray right there. And the phone for having a 5,000 milliamp battery is very light. So far, everything looks good. You get a 33 watt supercharge on this phone, but I asked them to send me a US plug, but they still send me a Euro plug. So make sure when you get this phone, you get an adapter for it right away because this thing returns it to US, but if you're in Euro, uh, Europe or anywhere else, that's what you guys are gonna be using. But US, Canada, this is what we use. So make sure you get one of these. The case is actually really nice. Like the case on this phone is very strong. It's not a cheap silicone case you get with some of the phones. So it fits really good. It grips all around the phone and the back camera is covered, the side is covered and the front display is covered. So if you put on a flat surface, move around, you're okay. And your camera is covered as well too. The phone, I mentioned before it comes with one of the newest chipset by Helio. This thing, it is so powerful. You can throw any game you want on this phone, any kind of text on this phone, this phone will uh, handle it with no problem. You got the Helio G99. For download, if you want to download anything, it is so fast. I did a download test on this phone, it blew my mind. Let me show you guys. This is a pretty big game, 1.12 gigabytes, and it's already at 21 seconds, more than halfway done. That's fast. Thirty seconds, almost done. Wow. This seems like Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. That's how powerful it is.
Less than a minute, guys. And if you want to play any game on it, it will be smooth and uh, performance, it will blow your mind. Pretty much, you're playing with a gaming phone. The good thing about this phone is it comes with 13 gigabytes of storage, 256 right out of the box. So you don't even need to add memory on this phone, it's good enough. And you got that beautiful display on this phone with beautiful vivid colors. And the phone is wider. It's like this way wider, so you get more display to watch videos on like the iPhone 12 Pro Max. You got a wider display. So this one's pretty much like that. And you have beautiful 6.7 inch AMOLED display. You're watching videos on this phone, you will enjoy it. And you got that beautiful uh, triple camera setup with 100 OMP. The only bad thing is, is that big bump around it. I don't like them. I like my phones flush. I always say it because flat surface, you're going to get lots of wobbling. But the case, once you put it on, it takes all that away. Let me show you. Now, you're good to go. So first, let's go walk around the phone so you guys can see the kind of features this phone comes with and all that kind of good stuff that I always show. If you pay close attention, you can see this phone comes with full Google support. You get all the Google apps there and here. And if you flip it up, you got much more down here. And it comes with uh, Google Assistant as well too. Let's try it. Open camera. Sure. That's how quick this thing responds. To uh, settings, we're gonna go to uh, my uh, connections. The phone comes with NFC and OTG connections. The NFC works with Google Pay. And one more thing guys, when you get this phone, make sure you uh, set up the warranty on the phone. So you're gonna go to sign my uh, uh, Infinix and make sure you sign in there so your warranty starts right away. We're gonna go check out the languages. This phone should have almost every language there is but we're gonna check it out anyways. So they say almost every language, but I don't think it does have almost every language. So this is it, that's it. 
And for display, we're gonna go to uh, always on display. This is customizable, make sure you turn it on and you can go through some of the features. Got lots of features there and you can download some more and choose the one that suits you. Fresh rate on this phone, it's gonna go to an ultra torch so you can have it swipe speed or motion speed. Right now we have it at fast and this phone, it is smooth. Like smoothest phone so far that I touched. Like look at this thing. It swipes so smooth and if you wanna open something, it's very quick, it's very fast. This thing is fast. I'm gonna try the face on lock first. The fingerprint scanner, I set it up with this finger, so we're gonna try it. And I forgot to mention, this phone comes with uh, Android 12 and you get NFC on it. The NFC works with Google Pay. And for the people that love headphone jack, you get a headphone jack on this phone. And another crazy thing is, you get 5,000 milliamp battery on this phone. What does that mean? Whole day of usage. You don't have to worry about your battery running out. Look how slim this phone is. It's so thin. The design on it, top notch. Now the camera. For main camera, you got 108 MP wide. You got two MP uh, depth. And you got video recording 1440 30. For selfie, you got a 16 MP wide, and video recording is 1440 30. The camera on this one is way better than the uh, Infinix Note 12. This one has got the 108. The other one, I wasn't a fan of it. The pictures didn't come out good. This one is a little bit better than that. It is not the best camera out there, but it's still way better than that. Let's go walk around the camera a little bit. Uh, then I'm gonna show you guys some pictures that I took with this phone and some videos. You got your AI camera with 10 times zoom. And the zoom on it, it works really good and it gets really clear when you zoom into stuff. And the phone comes with 108 MP camera. And when you go close to uh, images, it looks very nice and clear. And for video, you can record up to 2K30. And it comes with film mode. You can make short film videos with uh, music in the background. And you have your beauty and your portrait mode. The portrait gets a uh, pretty nice blur in the back. So your image is gonna look really good. And we're gonna flip this up. These are the rest of your uh, features for camera. These pictures that you see, I took them with 108 MP camera. And these are some I took with the portrait mode. If you see the blur in the back looks pretty good. And these are some selfie pictures that I took. And these are selfie in uh, portrait mode. I'm not really fan of the portrait mode in selfie. And these are some night shots that I took. I took them in my backyard and my backyard is pitch black. So for pitch black, I think they came out okay. And these are selfie in uh, night mode. And this video is in 2K30 that I took with it. I'm gonna tell you my 
my opinion on this phone this phone only worth around like 250 bucks for 250 bucks i don't think you're going to find a better budget phone it's very hard to find something that can beat this with the performance that this thing has this thing is amazing uh if you're into gaming this is definitely a gaming phone if you watch a lot of videos this is it everything is good on this phone for the price you guys let me know in the comments what do you guys think about it i'd love to know you guys' opinion 